Hey guys, how you doing? Um, today I'm in a little bit of a bad mood. Uh, I had been a secret shopper for my credit union for about over four years. And uh, last month I got the guy's name wrong who helped me. And uh, so this morning I found out that I'm, I no longer have an account with them. But I mean, it was it was good for a few bucks. Uh, it was good for um, paying my co-pays for my medicine. And um, you know, it was it was only a few bucks, but you know, nobody likes to get fired. It's it's an uncomfortable feeling. So today I want to talk about the schizophrenia rule of thirds. Basically, it says that one third of people with schizophrenia do very well with medication, have jobs, and get married, and have a normal life. The middle third uh, has to go back to the hospital every now and then, um, but they can still like hold down a job and and uh, uh, have a good social life. Uh, and then there's the bottom third, which uh, people do really poorly. They don't react what they don't um, do as well on medication as some of the other people do. Basically, it says one third recover, one third do so so, and one third do poorly. I used to think I was in the top category, but lately I'm not really sure. Um, I, I've been having a lot of problems with uh, fluidity of speech, and um, I'll, I'll I'll say. I'll start talking about something and then I'll say, oh, I'll lose my train of thought, it'll derail. And I'll say, oh, um, 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 and it, it takes a really long time for me to rec recover what I was thinking about. This happens at work, uh, with family, basically everywhere, except my writer's group. I don't, I don't really have any trouble talking in, in there. And it leads me to believe maybe I'm not in the top category, maybe I'm in the middle. Lately I've been having uh, these hallucinations where I hear people whispering about me. Or sometimes I'll see people out of the corner of my eye that aren't really there. With medication, I, I just don't think that all hallucinations go away. About a year ago, I sent a long, rambling email to my sister and my brother-in-law about how Snoop Dogg changed, uh, was mocking the Genevieve's crime family by changing his name to Snoop Lion um, after uh, the current boss of the Genevieve's family, uh, Danny the Lion Leo. I made all kinds of connections between the mob and popular culture, and after sending a few mo emails back and forth, um, it, I, it just seems delusional to me. Um, I realized it, it, it couldn't have been true, and I and I think this happens to everyone who has schizophrenia, whether they're on medication or not. Uh, sometimes you have delusions, and sometimes um, you have hallucinations. I was telling my supervisor about how one of my clients was getting special messages from the TV. And, but he was handling it really well um, and we did some reality testing with it and uh, my supervisor immediately said oh he needs a med adjustment um, and then I popped in and said you know you, you still have hallucinations and delusions uh, if you're on meds or not um, and I think I sort of gave away the fact that um, my secret that I have schizophrenia uh, which nobody at work knows so it may be becoming obvious that maybe I have schizophrenia because like, it isn't the first time I slipped up a little bit and kind of gave away uh, that I might have schizophrenia. So what do you think about the rule of thirds? Is it real? Is it a generalization? Where do you fit in there? Um, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening and have a great day.